Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my first episode of picking a LEGO order. It's not a Pablo because I sell on multiple platforms, so it's not a Pablo, it's picking a LEGO order. So, reverse LEGO haul, number one I guess you call it. And this is from an eBay purchase, eBay, for this LEGO Chima poly bag. It sold for $8.50 plus $3.50 shipping to Singapore, I hope that covers it. And there's all the information that it is. And this is going to be a really easy order to pick because it's one poly bag, and I don't know where that poly bag yet goes, so it's just in a box in front of me. So, so I don't even have to get out of my desk for this order. That's great. So here's a bunch of poly bags, and these are all listed on eBay and first one. And there's the poly bag I need right on top. But here's just, just look at all my other poly bags. These are all for sale on my eBay store and on my purchase store, so if you want these, I suggest you get them because I just listed all these poly bags on Thursday, yes it was Thursday, and it's, and it's Saturday now, so they sell that quickly. I'm going to grab a bubble mailer, and I'm going to pack this order now. So what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn to the drawer beside me. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to take an order sheet. Thank you, order sheet. I'm going to need one of these. That's all for this drawer. And then I'm going to go over here to my business card area. And I'm going to get a business card. So as you can see, my business card and my order cards for the envelopes are very similar. So I'm going to stick all this in here in the envelope just to get it out of the way. I'm going to fold the poly bag up just a little bit just so it, it actually fits in. I'm going to try and center it in the middle and then I'm going to flatten it all down but not break the pieces because that would be bad. I'm going to seal the seal this. I'm not actually going to seal it in this video because not no for no reason I just I'm just not ready to quite seal it yet. I'm now going to print off a shipping label which I'm not going to show you because it's the buyer. I don't want you to see their address and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. I'm going to print it, cut it, put it here and I'm going to use this tape that's in my drawer and I'm going to seal it. And on the very back here I'm going to write this 